this is in slow motion from high above. Now all the drivers are very crowded going into this into this corner, three abreast. One of them touches, goes sideways, Scott, and then Mayhem. And this is what we talked about before, that these speeds at 220 miles an hour, Eddie, you're going the length of a football field in less than a second. And you don't plan your next move at this speed, as you can now see the cars starting to go one over each other, and they'll start to get up towards the catch fence. And those are the ones, the catch fences, that do the damage. The safer walls we've improved really helps dissipate the energy when the cars hit, but it's the, sa the, the catch fencing that's above the safer barriers that these cars got up into, and that is what has done the damage. Another angle. And as you mentioned, Eddie Carr's just going for the same spot, and at this speed, it just starts to go sideways. Cars start to climb up and over, and as further cars continue to come into frame, you'll see cars starting to slide through and jump into the air and now watch towards the go. catch fence. And the car now goes up. It's airborne. And Turns it gets the wrong way. Bolted, and it gets into the catch fencing with the cockpit area first, which is something that you just cannot be prepared for. And there's nothing you can actually do. In the, I mean, there, there's nothing you can do. The drivers are put into position. There's nothing they can do. Here's Here it's in slow motion, but you can see how it arrives. And the parts are going everywhere, and it's a driver. You're trying to miss the large pieces of the cars themselves, and parts are falling out of the sky. You really don't know where to go or what to do, and if you escape this and you get through it, you sort of pinch yourself when you're on the far side of it and said, I made it. And unfortunately, some did not. going into this race was all that dirty air created by 34 cars. But right now, the position he's in, he actually has a small advantage because everybody else has opened the air up in front of him. And he Whoa, oh, here we go. go. Trouble oh, contact oh, and a huge oh, crash. Oh, oh. Up in turn oh. number two. Oh, multiple cars involved. Oh, my. It looks like Dan Weldon may be involved in it. The number 77, Dan Weldon's car number today, has now been put at the top of the scoring pylon here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And we salute Dan Weldon.